Okay, so let's continue with our test of using sidecar feature of macOS Catalina. So now we can actually use uh, Apple Pencil with Blender. So, and I will be testing Blender Sculpture. Uh, Blender, Blender sculpting, sculpting feature, or, or uh, it's been around for a while, but it's actually the first time I really use it with a Apple Pencil or stylus or whatever. And a good, a good way to start is actually to maybe use a subdivision surface and keep it simple. And then on top of the modifier, we're going to add multi resolution and subdivide it again a couple of times. Well, okay, with with this, we don't actually be able to scroll with Apple Pencil. I, I don't know how to scroll, which is really weird. Um, subdivision, multi res, put it. Oh, multi res actually cannot be at the bottom. Okay, interesting. So I just subdivide it a couple of times. Okay, keep it simple here. Uh, all right, so this one can be Cutmill Clark. File, save as. I'm just gonna save it as uh, whatever. We're supposed to name it, so just untitled one, save. Okay, I want to keep everything clean. I'm just gonna jump to sculpting mode. Okay, it gave me this. All right, so we have this uh, property panel on the side. Oops, I'm trying to select that black line. So that's still kind of tricky. Okay. And I have my zoom over here. It's gonna be pretty slow. Okay, and I'm start. I start to sculpt. Uh, maybe at this point, I just delete this and increase the subdivision a couple of time. Okay, now it's pretty decent. Maybe um, should I go higher or lower? I just start sculpting anyway so and rotate so as you can see when I'm rotating it's become the original geometry so when sculpting by default it gives you this symmetry over the x-axis and then you are using the the sculpt sculpt draw tool and let's actually because this is symmetrical let's try drawing some kind of flower maybe flower pattern it should be easy so this is i think i'm i'm not 100 percent familiar with this so i will be just testing the tool i know that the fact that i can use uh, alt or shift or yeah, whatever control here um, okay that's command and the command seems to be giving me the the mask which uh, which I don't really need at the moment actually the command allows me to push and the normal one is kind of pulling it shift I know shift is to smooth the sculpt Okay, that should be easy to understand and I'm just gonna keep sculpting um, maybe smooth to the side all the side of the cube I found that even though maybe I'm not the I'm not really good with sculpting but this thing is really really um, relaxing like meditative you can you can do sculpting and drawing and without any kind of planning. Um, 
and yeah just keep going and I'm so far I'm only using that single tool oh apparently we can tap and jump into any side okay I this is the bottom bottom part of the the cube I remember to save file save time to time just save because once you start sculpting and you're in the zone you're gonna forget you're gonna totally forget about saving and you're gonna lose everything so that's not good subdivide again and now I'm I go a little bit higher <coughs> with resolutions some people go up to six in the of uh, sculpting quality um supply the base anyway let's keep going with this so i seem to like to make circular pattern yep that's also kind of fun holding command i'm holding okay holding command so i can push down that hole this will trigger a fear of hole for some people but we can pretend that we don't have that fear continue sculpting and pushing and pulling and yeah i actually i i like this control at the top would be nicer to have smoother control with finger so i'm using my finger but yeah, i think the the rotation is not in the middle i think it's looking at the 3d cursor and sometimes you kind of lost it so you need to view frame all okay i need to select the object view frame selected okay zoom so this kind of control is something that you will have to get used to well because i'm using the ipad it's not like not much control just apple pencil single control maybe it's good because it's so limiting you can be more focused go yeah like i said you can go to certain view can we frame it view frame select it yeah yeah this is really quite fun file save before it might crash at any any point view frame selected that should be made into the touch bar really ideally the touch bar should have something uh, that work with uh, maybe your custom Python so I'm just gonna hold command and kind of pushing this area make it I don't know how to make it sharp or whatever but maybe I should try some of the other two oops that's really strong so I didn't even change the, the strength I didn't change the strengths whatever is all default uh, there's okay inflate deflate blob to crease crease good one can crease around the area but let's go back to the default tool you can see the performance is actually really really good for sculpting this is pretty fun oops why is this become less detailed i don't know okay the top part i can't remember remember the the flower one i made some kind of kind of like a traditional pattern flower pattern and let's try to find the, f the pattern okay we get that okay this this one right we can actually make it symmetrical in few axes at the same time but i'm just kind of randomly making this detail yeah i know i know i have friends who are really good with sculpting 
so far I know just the guy from Russia and also from Japan they're really good with sculpting but I think because they have strong background in traditional art yeah I don't know what this is exactly it looks like uh, 75 now it's really detailed maybe I should stop here and start to do some UV and painting oh look at this yeah I like um, oh yeah with sculpting let me say first you can actually <coughs> use the normal tool and then you there's an option here dynamic dynamic topography turn it on just hit OK and now you can actually oh I lost all the detail oh that sucks okay that's why you save I, I don't know maybe it's good idea to just apply constructive modifier cannot be applied to multi race in sculpt mode okay let's go back to layout can we actually hit apply it's gonna be super dense and high resolution this mesh oh wait wait a minute I'm not getting the details what if I subdivide this no I don't have it so how do we apply this save external okay multi-res save external okay maybe apply base and delete higher so I like this but I'm not getting the detail if I go back to the original okay maybe oh I, I need to select the the level of detail and then hit apply okay now we have this surface already baked good now I'm, I'm gonna select my object box select and then edit operator search keyboard UV smart smart UV okay so it's gonna do the UV texturing for me and I'll be just randomly doing the texture painting oh okay I need to have texture get rid of the keyboard go to shading select okay shading and go to the base color give it a image texture create new hit ok go to texture painting so a couple of steps there keep in mind it's a uh, and at this point don't forget to save time to time Maybe my object is a little bit dense. I should reduce the, the density. Uh, so we have texture slow. I like to keep it simple like this. And I can start doing the painting. Okay. We don't need to see the UV. So I, I will hide this by dragging the corner. Okay. Now we are ready. We, do we have symmetrical option? Mm, symmetry okay turn on in X so now we have symmetry on the X we can start doing the painting texture slow turn off brush yeah I like this view 
um, maybe start by doing a fill. So quick fill with a color of your choice. And some people like to paint in vertex mode, actually, instead of texture painting. Because with texture, uh, with the vertex paint, you can have uh, like easy way to get a dirty vertex and kind of give it a highlight and shadow on the detail of the model. Uh, yeah. Just randomly painting. So these actually can go four hours. Just gonna try to make sense of this model. Look at this. What do you want? What do you give? Give it just random color, maybe darker near the that area there that goes in. This must be some kind of alien 3d box don't know what it is exactly but uh yeah look at this this doesn't seem to have much detail but but the texturing can add details and then if we have like i don't know if blender has it yet but the normal if we can kind of paint the normal instead of just the color of the diffuse that's that's gonna add a lot of detailing or maybe if we sculpt really really detail and then we simply apply it as the normal or even bump bump map oh yeah i forgot to save uh better go to the the uv if this crashes and I didn't save any, it's, I'm gonna lose everything. So this is the texture, save as, save it as untitled, untitled one, save image, and Blender crashes. All right, did I save it? Uh, maybe I lost it. Let's see. Oh yes, I think I have it over here. So I didn't lose it. So good. Now I can restart Blender and we still have the sidecar working. We have the texture. I probably didn't save. Okay, I saved my object, so cool. Now. Yep, so put this back on the screen of iPad. Now I'm cheating because I'm using mouse. Let's go back to the layout. We have this guy. Turn on this material. It's a lot easier using mouse. And here, let's grab our texture. And look at it. Okay, cool, file, save as, untitled 3. This object is pretty dense, so I'm going to be using the mouse now, mouse and keyboard. If I hit Z, look at the wireframe, oh, it's pretty dense, it's not bad. Edit. Operator search, smooth, I'm smoothing everything. This part is a bit ugly. Actually, the size is really ugly, uh, but we're going to save it anyway. Export as GLTF with bin and texture and create a new folder. Call it USDZ ugly box. And 
ugly box is now safe so i found that this sidecar with apple pencil is really interesting but uh, i wish it can be more like uh, portable like you can really work on on the stylus but still sometimes you need mouse and um, keyboard hotkey i'm gonna turn this into usdz ar ready okay let me bring my thing yep this thing i'm gonna drag it there oh okay let's just let's minimize blender bring our usdz converter usdz convert and get our ugly box put it there convert into usdz and now this thing is ready for augmented reality wow it's pretty ugly box and it sure looks ugly but yeah this there's a random sculpting anyway using apple pencil though it's a it's a new thing with a catalina etc so if you want to display this um i mean we can we can have better result if maybe we add some kind of metallic so go back here maybe it's too colorful too much saturations so with the material really just i don't know make it metallic reduce the roughness give some normal yeah export gltf ugly box number two Saving again takes a while. So if it's safe, we can just drag it here and then run our little command. Yes, DZ convert. It's gonna create ugly box number two. There you go. At least this one is shiny and reflective. I can try to test this on my iPhone. Um, send this using AirDrop iPhone. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Not my iPhone. Send this to iPad. Files dz save all right so we got our ugly box now our metallic and reflect uh, reflective box this the cool thing about this is that there's some kind of we can have a segmentation so i can use my hand and should be behind or in front of the box it doesn't work here but you can see the AR if I have a lot of noise on my background it's giving me that noise so that part is really cool even though this is a really ugly model but yeah so that's basically the idea sculpting using Apple Pencil and the iPad Pro and Blender uh, you start with a base mesh in this case just a cube and you you subdivide it and randomly sculpt it and you get ugly box or you can make it more beautiful of course but anyway that's the whole procedure super basic but hopefully you enjoy this let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye